Hello everyone, today we're going to illustrate well-defined sets. So, we're going to discuss all about well-defined sets. So, when we say set, this is a group of well-defined or distinct objects. Examples, we have the set of colors, we have red, blue, yellow, green. Another example set of even numbers, and what are those? We have two. 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. So, each member of the set is what we called an element. Okay? So, 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 10 are what we called elements of this set. Okay? So, when we say element, this is a member of the set and in symbol we write it like that way okay so let us have an example so in a set of u so let's say we have a B, C, D, and then E. So, A, B, C, D, and then E are what we call the elements of set U. Okay? So, the name of this set is set U. Okay? So, the name of the set is set U. And then, the elements are A, B, C, D, and then E. So, in symbol, okay? So, in symbol, we can write that A is an element of set U or U. Also, E is an element of u c is an element of u so if an element does not belong to set u then we write let's say f okay so f is not an element of u okay so here going back to this we read this as is an element of okay and then this one we read this as is not an element of okay so usually we use capital letter we use capital letters to represent a set to represent a set okay and also small letters for the elements uh, or the elements are enclosed by a curly braces this one okay let us have another example Let's say we have A equals to all values of X such that X is an odd number. Okay, so this one, 
we read this as x such that x is a or an let's say here an 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 odd number okay then from this set that all numbers of x or all values of x such that x is an odd number you're going to think of all numbers that are odd so let's say we have three so do you think three is an odd number yes so therefore three is an element of set a another one let's say seven now is seven an odd number yes so seven is an element of a how about eight now is eight an odd number no therefore eight is not an element of set a okay so going back to the first two examples we have u equals to a b c d e and then set a we have all values of x such that x is an odd number so from these two sets this one the first set is what we called a rooster notation or rooster method wherein all members are listed one by one and separated by commas okay then this one this is an example of a set builder notation or a rule method sometimes we call that as a rule method okay let us now continue we're going to determine whether a collection or group of objects is well defined or not so let us read the direction tell whether the set is well defined or not if it is well defined illustrate the set in a rooster notation and set builder notation so, example number one, the set of even numbers less than 10. So, you can easily identify what are those even numbers less than 10, right? So, this is a well-defined set. Well-defined set. So, using the rooster notation, we have A is equal to 2. 4, 6, and then 8. So, this is in rooster notation. Okay. Now, in set builder notation, we can, we can write it like A equals to all numbers of X such that all values of X such that X is An even number less than 10. Okay. So, another one. Number two. The great teachers in your previous school. So, this is a not well-defined set. Okay. Not. well-defined set why because great teachers depend on your opinion and also it is different from your classmates opinion right so this is a not well-defined set another example let number three let's say we have c equals to january february 
March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So, what do you think? This is a well-defined Y, well-defined set. So, this is a well-defined set Y because these are all months of the year, right? So, in rooster notation, we can write it like this. We have C is equal to January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Okay. So, this that is by using the rooster notation. And then, by using the set builder notation, you can write it like this. C is equal to all values of C of X such that X is a month of a year. Okay? So, this is in set builder notation. Okay. Next, number four. So, number four, we have the favorite foods of your math teacher. So, you do not know your teacher yet and also the favorite food of your teacher. So, this is a not well defined. Not well defined set. Okay? Next, number five. So, number five. Factors of 20. Okay. So, you know what are the factors of 20, right? So, this is a well-defined set. Well-defined set. So, in rooster notation, this is, or this can be written as, F equals to 1, 2, 4, 5, and then 20. So, notice that they are all factors of 20. And then, in a set builder notation, we have F equals to all values of X such that X is a factor of 20. Okay? So, that's it. That's all. You know now how to determine well and then well defined and then not well defined set so that's it please do like share and then click the notification button for more videos and updates thank you